Hey, y'all, this is Michael, and Michael is currently in the hospital. He's in Texas. This is his mom. Now, Michael lost both of his arms, y'all, and we're praying that he does not lose his feet because the doctors are trying to save his feet. This is as a result of a flea bite. Now, the flea bite bitten by a certain flea causes marine typhus, okay? This can be found in California, Hawaii, and Texas. And in Texas in particular, there's a particular outbreak in Galveston, Harris, and Travis counties. Now, it presented like COVID and then the flu, but when they finally went to the hospital, the doctors told them that it was marine typhus and that he had the flea bite, y'all. This is just incredibly sad. So what happens is, because I have to do a little bit more digging, the flea poops, and then when the flea poops and it contracts to you, then rubs in a wound that you may have, that's how you get it. Now, it cannot be contracted from person to person, okay? Only the flea to the person or the pets that I name, rats, cats, and possums, not the fleas that's found on a dog. These are the symptoms right here. You can stop and look at them. Please seek assistance right away. Michael didn't know, of course, no, he had it and didn't seek assistance right away. As a result, they took a high blood pressure medication to to help get him well um again you're gonna have to watch the video to figure out how he got that from the high blood pressure medicine i saw um i went and found the gofundme y'all because of course he has no medical insurance and he has a long road to recovery prayers and positive vibes and if you're able to donate then please donate and again let's pray that he does not also lose his feet this is just so sad prayers up to you michael and the family okay mm -hmm such a horrible amount of pain every day um, is hard to watch to this day. Jaylene Hardaway says it's been difficult to watch her son, Michael Koloff, fight for his life in the hospital. The 35-year-old Houston man went to visit his mom in San Antonio, who just had surgery. He wanted to help her out for a few weeks, but when he got there, he wasn't feeling well. We had, for a couple of days, taken COVID tests just to see if he might have had COVID. Um, then he had some GI issues, which prompted us to think it might be flu. On June 19th, Michael and his parents rushed him to the ER. By the next day, he was on a ventilator and his organs were failing. The doctors were able to confirm it was a severe case of typhus from a single flea bite. Medication used to raise his blood pressure saved him, but also damaged his hands and feet. As most body parts, if they don't get blood for a certain amount of time, you know, they uh, tend to die. And essentially that's what happened to his hands. And now we're trying to see what we can save of his feet. Infectious disease doctors at UT Health say typhus, a bacteria spread by fleas that cats, rats, and possums carry, has been found in Harris, Travis, Galveston, and Bear counties. The symptoms are similar to the flu and can include a rash, but it's treatable. The problem is that some people don't realize they have typhus again because the symptoms look like other diseases um, and don't get treated um, but an antibiotic cheap um, can easily for people and luckily there's no persistent or chronic form of the disease michael's severe case is rare his family staying positive and praying for recovery it's going to be a tough road ahead but he he can do it, you know, he can do it. And mm -hmm. there's no doubt about it. And there is a lot of the community that um, will rally around him. Strong man and strong family. So here's some ways to keep yourself safe from this. The doctor says to avoid flea bites and coming in contact with the animals that may carry them. If you have a pet, make sure they're being treated for those fleas and don't leave pet food outside that can attract those insects. Make sure you properly cover your outdoor trash cans and also wear EPA approved insect repellents when you're spending time outside. Now, Michael will have to take some time adjusting to this new life. And since he has no insurance, the family's relying on public support. I have a link to his GoFundMe on my Facebook and Twitter pages right now. Reporting from the studio, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.